Hey everyone, it's Anna here at Dee's with blueberry wreath number five for this winter season. And this one is just as beautiful as all the other ones. So if you missed out on one of the first four that sell out within a few hours, you definitely don't want to miss out on this one. It's got all the pretty things you love in it, including this beautiful mixed stem. We've got two of these. It's a little bit taller, so it's going to fill in the wreath really nicely, but it has the pine cone, the little bit of the lighter blueberry, some leaves, some pine cedar, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to make this the same way I've made the first other four. So if you've watched that, I'm going to go pretty quickly. You can always go back and watch wreath number one or two where it's slowed down. But since you guys like that style so much, I'm going to make it exactly like the first few. We're going to start out. We're going to chop the bottom of the stem. I've already fluffed it out. You know they come in a little bit kind of smashed all together. Everything's wired. You just take a minute, open everything up. This one's got a nice stick on it too. Some other green little berries. We're going to dunk it into the hot glue. You're going into your wreath right about 8 o'clock. Same way we've done it before. Just push it into the grapevine. And then you can move everything around once it's in the grapevine. So if you don't, like these berries were kind of hidden, pull them back to the front. All right, now you're ready to do your second one. So same thing with this one. We're going to chop the bottom off, fluff it out a little bit. Take the tag off. All right, now you're going into the bottom of your wreath right about six o'clock and you're going in at an angle and you are gonna leave a little bit of a gap between those two pine cones so that when you add your ribbon, it fills in that hole. Then your ribbon's not covering up any of your stem. So just fluff that around. That's a really nice, pretty large stem so it fills in the wreath really well. And next we're gonna do ribbon. So we have some navy berries we're gonna add in very last so they stand out. So for now, we're going to go on to ribbon. So there's some really cute ribbon going in this one. Of course, we've got a navy dot with the white dot. Really pretty. It's the one and a half inch. But my favorite part of this one is we got back in our beautiful moss green that says welcome. It's perfect for winter time. And look how pretty it's going to be on this wreath. It's just going to pop really well. So I'm going to make my bow a little bit different just so you really read that welcome. So I'm going to start by leaving a tail going down so you have a nice welcome at the tail so you can read it. And I'm going to make my two loops like normal. And then I'm going to cut the tail, leaving another welcome. So normally we would have a short tail going up, but on this one, I really want you to be able to read it. So I left them both longer. So it takes just a little bit more ribbon, but on the blue one, we're going to do like we normally do where we're going to leave a little tail going up. You're going to do two loops again. Cut the tail. Now you're going to take your cloth covered wire, tie it right where your hand is holding that. And you're ready to twist it onto your wreath. You're going right there in that gap between the two pine cones. We're just going to twist it on. All right, now you're ready to fluff it. Tail going up, add a little blue. All right, we've got our loops. And now you're ready to cut your tails. So I'm gonna chop this one right below that welcome. Same thing over here. And then cut that little one up there. And last, you're just gonna add in your navy blueberries. I did one shorter stem of them and I'm going to cut it apart. So this, when you take the tag off, you can easily see that it's like three different sections when you start to fluff it. So you're just going to chop those into three pieces and you're going to glue them in on their own. And that way you can decide where you want them to go in there. So these are a little bit shorter than normal. So you're just going to Dunk them into the glue and kind of go where you have gaps. So this first one, I'm going to go right here behind the pine cone next to the bow. And that one's going to go a little bit into the bow. So it really shows up well. All right, next one. Let's see. 
I'm gonna do one kind of up towards the top and one down towards the bottom. Let's do this one down here. I see a little bit of a gap right in here. Let's go right there. All right, and our last stem. We're going right up here behind this. I like it because it adds a different size berry too. So you get the smaller, lighter berries and then you have the bigger navy berries. But how pretty is that? It's just another great blueberry wreath that will look good all winter long. You can go online on shopdiesel.com, grab this kit and click on the link below in the caption. It'll take you right to the kit up on the website.